Hello and welcome to Flashback, a weekly look at stories from years gone by. In the Americas, there's roughly 830,000 ham radio stations to this day. It's quite a bit of an out of North area hobby, but many still rely on it to this day. In Kitimat, we got a first-hand look at that in the June of 1994. Let's take a look. Test one, two, test one, two, three, four, test, test. Part of the exercise was to start from scratch, as it would be done in a real emergency. First up is a portable antenna, which allowed the club to broadcast from Kitimat's Chamber of Commerce building on several different bands. We're hoping with the propagation that we got, we'd cover the entire North American continent and Hawaii and some of the islands out in the Pacific, maybe as far as Western Samoa. It's an interesting time just now for ham radio operators. Freak atmospheric conditions are enabling people to pick up signals they haven't heard for 10 years or so. It was also a contest, so each and every signal picked up has to be logged. Okay, so it's 17, 1747 there at the tone. It's exactly 1747. So that goes into your log? That's right. Uh, if I were to make a contact with somebody in this time period, I would, I would record 1747 because that's universal, universal coordinated time. Everybody in the world, every amateur radio operator in the world uses this time so that we know when we all talk. Because if you start using Pacific Standard Time, uh, you know, uh, Greenwich Standard Time, I mean, your logbooks would be all just a, a shamozzle. The club was using a single transmitting station, taking turns using both voice and Morse signals. There are a lot of stations today, as you can imagine, and uh, a lot of people don't listen as much as they should. They just continue calling and they don't listen. <laughs> you wish they were listening to you to repeat their signal. Conditions are also very difficult because there are literally thousands of stations active at the, at simultaneously. Mm -hmm. There is a great deal of interference. So these conditions uh, uh, try the operator's uh, skills. Lee Ellis, First News, Kitimat.